guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a first impressions video of some new makeup that I received. I'm so excited, so if you're so excited, just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris Makeup. I upload every other day, so I hope you will consider subscribing so you can get more content from me. My mission here on YouTube is to test out where the products are tan girl friendly. So if you are wondering about a new palette or a new foundation or a new makeup item, you might find a video that helps you out. I also love to do swatches and swatch parties and live videos here on my channel. So I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Last time I checked, I'm like 25 people away from 7K. Who am I? Anyway, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I was gonna film this as separate videos, but I think it'll be more fun if I group everything together. So I tried out a few different things that I received in the mail recently, but the first thing that I was so, so excited was the new Odin's Eye Elva 2 palette. Now I have the original palette because I purchased it like last month and I was so excited when they started teasing the new collection because the first one is pretty much a neutral palette and so it was so fun that they did a more colorful younger sister let's say so I want to give you guys swatches of the new palette really quick and if you guys want to see my thoughts on the original palette definitely go ahead and check out that video I will remember to link it up in the cards for you guys so the new palette does have two pressed glitters which is how I ended up acquiring this palette my friend Amy loves makeup she has a video on the collection I will remember to link her channel as well as her video down below you guys have to go show her some love because it was so kind of her to send me this palette but she got the whole collection the new one in PR and since she doesn't like pressed glitter she decided to send me the bigger palette so I could try it out and review it for you guys so thank you so much Amy I love you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you. This means so much to me. Let me go ahead and swatch the first row. Here are the finger swatches. So I have apricot, pop rocks, peach juice, and then we have coffee, which is the deepest shade in the palette. So there's the glitter. I'm actually wearing the pressed glitter on my eyes today. You guys will see that in the demo. And so there is the first row. It's a little bit lighter of a color story but the thing I like about this palette is you could also do a really pretty neutral look with it so if you skip the first one the first Alva palette you can still do like a neutral or a pop of color look with this palette so here is the second row we have crystal orange bonbon pink star and copper red which is so pretty I have a lot of orange bonbon in my inner corner. So there's the next press glitter. And then there is that copper shade. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so now we're getting into the fun blue rose. So here are the four shades. We have aquamarine, green elves, green tea, and forest dream. There's those four shades, and I think I can sneak the last four shades in that lower portion. So here they are. We have Blue Bubble, Blue Peafowl, Sapphire, and Deep Sea. So there are all of the swatches of the Odin's Eye Elva 2 palette. Hopefully you guys can see them all. It's very, very, very ethereal. That's kind of what the whole brand is based off of. It is based off of Nordic mythology. So it's a lot of like elves and fairies and things like that as you will be able to see from the packaging as well. It's very on brand and on theme if I do say so myself. So I also used a few other new things from Midas Cosmetics. I am a Midas Cosmetics affiliate so if you guys haven't been keeping up with them 
they launched a collaboration with Neon MUA. This is him. And they launched four face palettes for different skin tones. They also sent me that beautiful box in the background, which I love. And this is the Noon palette. So I received one of the palettes. I think this is palette number two. And so I am wearing all of these products on my cheekbones. So you will see that in the demo. I was also sent their loose setting powders. So I have two shades. I used the shade medium on my eyes today, so you'll see that as well. And then my lip shade is this one from ColourPop. This is an ultra blotted lip in the shade Ocean Ave. And I bought this shade because I just thought it would be the perfect shade for summer. I actually bought this last year, but ended up putting it on this year. So there's that. I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you guys. So let's go ahead and hop into the demo. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise base. And this is what the palette looks like in case you guys wanted a closer look. I've heard a lot of people wondering if this is going to be people of color friendly, brown girl friendly, tan girl friendly. So I thought it was a perfect palette for me to showcase on my channel. I had the same questions with Odin's Eye, and I think towards the end of July, early August, I did purchase from them myself, and I did film a video with the Alva Eyeshadow Palette 1, so this is the original, and the original highlighter palette as well, so if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I will remember to link it in the description box or up in the card so you guys can check it out. But they came out with a second palette, and I'm so excited, so let's get started. I'm grabbing a Morphe M573. It's a big old blending brush, and I want to go into the shade Orange Bonbon. Bon. It's a beautiful, just a cream soda kind of color, so I'm just coating the brush. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner and blend it up towards my brow. Okay, next I want to go into the shade Peach Juice, which is like a pinky salmon color. And I'm going to concentrate that on the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to go into the shade Blue Peafowl. I just like to use the same brush. I'm kind of a savage like that. So I'm coating the brush and I'm going to throw that in the outer corner of my eye. I really wish that the darker blue had been a matte shade just because I like to smoke out the outer corner usually with my eyeshadow palettes but it's okay we can try something new and see how it works out. So I'm kind of leaving that on the outer corner and I'm also blending that onto my lid. It's kind of turning a little bit gray, but that's okay. I'll also grab Aquamarine. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Orange Blossom. And then I really want to play with the Pop Rocks Press Glitter and then these three colors. So I think what I'm going to do is start off with Forest Dream. I'm just going to use my finger and kind of stamp it here on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go into the shade Deep Sea with a different, a clean finger and kind of use my finger to blend it. Ooh, these shimmers feel nice. I don't like it. Okay guys, I really didn't like that eyeshadow look I was going with, so I'm going to stop and start over. I think I still like the idea of the orange, but I really need a dark blue to go with the eye look I'm envisioning. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do.
Okay guys, sorry, I was kind of trying to focus on what I was doing, but I did reach for this matte blue in my blueberry palette just to help me because I don't typically love putting shimmers in my crease and this one is a very like metallic blue. So I want to focus that on the outer corner. And then the other thing too I would love is to use the yellow shade from the original Elva palette. Um, I think this shade called Sunflower is kind of what I want on my inner corner. So this is like a joint effort from a few different palettes. Typically, I don't like to pull from other palettes, but my friend Angie did this beautiful green-blue eye look, and that's kind of the other direction I wanted to take this in, and I don't really want to do the exact same thing she did. So I was trying to be a little bit different, but... I just didn't have everything I needed in the one palette, so I had to reach for other palettes, but that's okay. I think you guys can forgive. You guys can forgive me, hopefully. Oh my gosh, this is getting so messy. That shimmer shadow is like pouring into my. <laughs> I am on the struggle bus. Today, I'm on the struggle bus. Today, okay, that other. I'm gonna try and wet this shadow. Hopefully, you guys have an easier time than me with this palette. Okay, when I wet it, it's much better, less kick up. I love that color with the orange in the crease called Orange Blossom. So hard to get colors like this to pop on me. But hopefully you guys can still see it. I love that sunflower on my lid. And then I want to use that same flat brush to put the blue shadow on called Deep Sea. I'm going to wet this one too just because I don't want to deal with it getting everywhere. I definitely have some cleaning up to do and then I just want to throw on a little bit of the e.l.f. glitter glue. Now pressed glitters, typically not eye safe, but I did use a glitter glue, so that should keep things kind of in place. And I'm gonna clean up this fallout, put some foundation on, and I will be right back to show you guys the final look and give you my thoughts. I also wanted to film with some new products from Midas Cosmetics. So this is the demo portion of the video, and Midas was so kind and they sent me their Zero Flaws setting powder in two shades. I have medium, which looks like this. It's like a pretty plastic packaging, and it's clear on the bottom. And they also sent me Fair. So let's see. Fair is definitely more of a very light, light shade. So I'm going to try medium. I'm going to use it to set underneath my eyes. It's like a very banana powder looking color. I don't think I've tried a color like this before on my under eyes. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number 02 brush. Ooh. I've never had a banana powder, I don't think. So I will be testing this out some more and I will keep you guys posted on my experience with that. And then the highlight of everything is this new face palette from Midas and Neon MUA. This was done in collaboration and I got this beautiful package from them. That's the box and it says this is bigger than makeup because there's four shades and he tried to make it as inclusive as he could. So, there's a bronzer, contour, blush, and highlighter. I haven't really contoured in a while, so I'm going to stay away from that, but I'm going to grab my BK Beauty 103 brush and, you know, 
get a nice dousing of it. Ooh, 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 this is pretty. I like it. It's so light. As in like lightweight, not light color. <laughs> I will definitely have to keep testing out this palette, but that is the bronzer. Then I'm going to use my BK Beauty 107 in the blush shade, which looks like it has a hint of shimmer. And I'm just going to pick that up and press into my cheek. Ooh, it's got a nice sheen to it. Kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm blush just a bit. Just a bit. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. It's got a major gold sheen. <gasps> That's cute. And then for the highlighter, which I'm most excited for, this shade. It's beautiful, like golden. Let's just dig in with that brush. I forgot. I'm trying to avoid putting highlighter on the tip of my nose. <laughs> okay, I love. I'm going to give my face a little spray of the Ofra makeup fixer that they sent me. So I'm going to use my BK Beauty 207, which I'm loving, and my BH Cosmetics Matte Blue to smoke out the lower lash line. just so I had something to deepen it up with, but it's okay. Luckily I have this. And then I'm gonna go into the highlighter palette from Odin's Eye. And again, the 207 brush. And I'm going into the shade, this one. It's like a iridescent shade. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. And ta-da! Okay guys, so here is the final look. As you can tell, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this whole look, but you know what? Everything kind of teaches me a little something about my skills as a YouTuber, as a regular human being, and it's okay. I'm just happy I was able to pull together a look with the palette, so I was a little bit disappointed that I had to reach for other palettes. I really wanted to do something with the oranges and the blues and unfortunately there wasn't enough shimmer orange to do like the inner part of my eyelid and then there wasn't a matte blue for my crease because you could put a shimmer or a metallic in your crease but I I'm not quite there yet as far as like makeup skills. So I did want to reach for a matte blue and I'm so glad I had this laying around so I was able to use that. And also on the lower lash line, I love the highlighter palette in the inner corner. I think that's such a cool color. And I really do like this orange shade. And it was fun that I could incorporate a few different palettes from them. So overall, I don't hate the new Elva 2 palette, but I think I'm going to need more time to play with it and kind of see what other color stories I can create. I definitely feel like I can do a very nice neutral eyeshadow look with it, but I feel like it's missing a deepening up matte shade for my preference. But obviously you don't have to take my word for it. There are so many other creators on the platform that have received Odin's Eye in PR. So I will try and remember to link some of those videos down in my description box as well so you guys can go check them out. As far as the stuff I got from Midas, I'm really happy with this little guy. I really, really enjoyed it. This highlighter is kind of like a Super Shock Cheek formula. It's kind of like a wet formula, so it's really pretty. I would love to try the tan version or the palette number three of this. I'd be really curious to see. But I was a little bit worried that the bronzer and the contour would be too light. But I think it worked out really nicely. Like I said, I'm notorious for buying the wrong shade of bronzer. So I'm happy they sent me the lighter one. Because if the dark one was too dark, then I would have been bummed too. So, so far I'm really enjoying this. And I will report back on the setting powder. This is a Zero Flaws setting powder. It's my first time wearing it. So I don't have too, too much to say. 
But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much of a train wreck or too painful to watch. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video soon.